Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower 2. We were playing as Helen. We had made it uh, to the dormitory in the university. Uh, we went for a little bit of a nap, and we woke up, and would you Adam and Eve it? Scissor Man's here, apparently. And also, apparently we've got to hide from him again. So, let's do just that. Okay, let's hopefully we're going to hide in here. And uh, everything's going to be nice and rosy. Yes. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now Mr. Scissorman is fucked off. We can uh, explore in peace. If uh, the game would let me use the door, of course. So, let's go. Okay. So, the first thing we really want to start doing is we need some tools so let's have a little look in here shall we hopefully we can find something that we can use oh that's unfortunate this is yeah this is one of the areas he can spawn oof unfortunately we don't want none of this <laughs> we got really unlucky with that. I don't know why he spawned in there. Sometimes he does. It's just one of those things that happens, I suppose. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find something to knock him over the head with. Anything will do. Something large and heavy would uh, be preferable. No? Nothing? Alright. This is awkward. Uh, hey, scissor man door won't open. Rude. What about this door? Will this door open? Oh, goody gumdrops. Yeah, this is a little bit, little bit naughty. Uh, we're stuck with Mr. Scissorman. Um, can we hide here anywhere? We can. Okay. So apparently Helen can squeeze under the beds, but hey, sir. Uh oh. Well, I guess he didn't buy it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> he literally did not buy that. One iota. I swear some of these some of these hiding spots actually work. Not all the time, obviously, as we've just seen there. Yeah that doesn't seem like it would be a very good hiding spot. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a scissor man. Or am I? Don't know how he would actually get her anyway. I guess we're about to find out. Nope. Nope. I guess these beds are a lot higher than they appear. You stupid bastard. Okay. I actually cannot believe that worked. Considering hiding under here did not, I can't believe hiding up there did. Now, I'm assuming because we've used that now, I don't think we can use it again. Sadly, you know, but I think that's how it works anyway. You can only use a hiding spot once. But then we have had instances where that hasn't been the case. So, I don't know, Chief. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep exploring. Let's have a little look around. Because we need to go to the computer lab. Hopefully, all the computers are back to normal now. He hasn't been using MS Paint. Alright, in here. On this station here, I believe. There are some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. Maybe. This might be useful. Excellent. So, we now have ourselves some pliers. Brilliant. That might come in useful a little bit later on. So, that's all we have now. We have the pliers and we have... Yes. Okay. Right. We need another item before we can leave here. Now, when we were here as Jennifer, we only actually had to pick up one item. Well, technically two if you count the key. But we only needed one uh, important item. But we, of course... 
need uh, another one. So, are we on... What floor are we on? We must be on the bottom floor. I don't really want to use the lift, because sometimes uh, Scissor Man's in the lift. Okay. Right. Oh, no, we're not. Ah, interesting. Okay. Hmm. So we can go upstairs or we can go downstairs. Go downstairs. Because we need another item. Um, this is the second floor, I think. Yeah, and that'd be the ground floor. All right. Yeah, oh, yeah, could we start on the third floor, I believe. Okay. So, cool. All right. What we're looking for. I'm sure somewhere on this floor. Come on. Over here. Nope, keep going. Ah, oh, we can use that to attack as a man with. But of course, we don't have that. Um, okay. Alright, well, let's check the waiting room then. Which I think is either here or it's on the floor below us. Pretty sure the waiting room's here. Yeah, this is where we spoke to Gots. No, Nolan. It was. Ah, right, yeah. This is what we want. Alright, I think we can smack him in the head with that too. Let's have a little look here. A magazine rack. There are many academic magazines, I believe she said. Skip through that a little bit too quick, but hey ho. Right. Ah, no, this is what we wanted. The fax machine rings. That's not good. We're getting a lot of the bonus things that could happen. Like finding Scissorman in the computer lab doesn't always happen. This fax machine going off, I don't think always happens. I'm not exactly sure. We're not going to look at that just yet anyway. So, ugh, come on. Can we not? Okay. Well, I guess we can't search the book that I wanted to. Right, so there's the flashlight. We need that. This might be useful. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be useful, Helen. Anything else in these lockers? I don't think so. There's several stuffed animals inside. I wonder why these are here at a university. I have no idea, Jenna. Uh, Helen. I have no idea. Inside, there are some dress shirts, neckties, and umbrellas. I wonder if that's... Yeah, the owner is well prepared. I wonder if that's uh, Barton's. It's locked. Well, that's no good. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't search that red book there. I thought we could. I guess not. There's nothing that might be useful. Hmm. Okay. I'm sh there's nothing that might be useful. Don't think we can do anything with the desk with the phone. So. Hello, police department. There's been a murder. Come quickly, please. Please relax, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? He's the one with the giant scissors, Scissor Man. You've heard of him, haven't you? If this is a prank phone call. <laughs> Wait. Uh, really? You could have had a little bit more information for the dude than that, Jennifer. Right, there should be uh something we can search here. There's nothing that might be useful. Really? Are you sure? There should be something here. Hmm. Uh. Right. Well, okay. It's not letting us have it, but there should be hint number five here. But I guess for whatever reason, the game's not letting us have it. All right, whatever. Well, let's have a look at the facts. Now, I think if we pick this up, Scissor Man comes for us, I think. Get ready, I'm coming to get you. 
Huh? Yeah, he knows where we are. Scissor man ain't stupid. Okay, anyway. So, let's get out of here. Right. That music is still piping up. But I think we're good. So, we can use that plant pot, I'm pretty sure, to smack him over the head with, which we may do. Uh, now, we need to go downstairs. And like I say, because I don't want to use the elevators just because he's in there. It's kind of fun getting chased around by Scissor Man, but, you know. Let's not push our luck. Helen's already been perforated a couple of times. Well, actually, no. She's been perforated once, hasn't she? All right. Well, let's go to where we work. Which, nope, that's not the way. Where's the lab where we work? It's back this way, isn't it, I think? Yeah. It's in here. Pretty sure. It's one of these two doors. Ah, door's locked and won't open. There's no way to open this door. Uh, are you sure? Have you not heard of a key? Pretty sure keys work on locked doors. Or is that just me? Am I just being silly? Did I just make that up? Um, oh, hey. Hi. Hello there. Didn't really want to wake you up, but sure. Uh, let's hide in the toilets. See if that mop is there. Pretty sure the mop was on the bottom. Uh, was it in this one? Yeah, I'm sure it's. Yeah, it's in the male toilets, isn't it? Or are we about to get horribly murdered again? No, we're good. Cool. Excellent. Um, right. Where was our... Was it on the bottom floor? I might be wrong. Hmm. So that's the storage room. These are just lockers. They're no good. Unless there's a hint in these lockers, maybe. Locked. Imagine that, the lockers being locked. Oh, hi! Jesus, dude! You can't even fit in that locker. What are you talking about? I'm calling extreme levels of bullshit right now. Let's go upstairs. Let's get out of here. Uh, upstairs. See if we can smack him over the head with the plant pot. Here's me intentionally not trying to get Scissor Man up our ass. And we're getting Scissor Man up our ass, like, constantly. Alright, let's go in here and smack him over the brain. Uh, oh, apparently we can't. Here's, I thought we could. Well, we can hide under this couch. Don't know if that's actually going to work, because I can see her. Really, Scissor Man? I'd, I'll be honest, guys. I think he's playing with us. I really think he's playing at us. Uh, with us. Okay. Right. Um, unless our office must be on this floor then, perhaps. Yeah, because we've got the female toilets there. Yeah. Ah, wait. This is the office, isn't it? As you can see, there's like a little bit more to do here as Helen. Yeah, there we go. This is what we want. Uh, now, which one is our desk? I think that's pepper spray there. I think we can use that. Beth's desk. It's cluttered with stuffed animals. Looks like Beth forgot these. There is a spray can of mace on her desk. This must be the one with the powerful, irritating smell. Yeah. I mean, we can't pick it up, but we can use it, so. Now, I can't remember which one of these is Helen's desk. Ah, that one. Oh, no. I left the key to the office laying here. You now have the office key. Yes, we do. Let's check out Barton's room whilst we're here. Because why not? I can get into the therapy room with this. Yes, we can. Let's go have a little look, see what's in the, uh, the... Oh. 
Well, there's a line going through it. Alright, someone has been horrifically murdered. Can we find out who that is? Rose. Oof. Rose has been hosed, guys. That rhymes. Oh. Why buff? Okay. You just got it all over yourself. It's, it's, oh, no. Alright, let's have a little look around, shall we? Whilst we're here, you know. Patient files are stored here. I mean, I won't be surprised if Scissorman just jumps out at one of those drawers or something. Don't say it won't happen. Okay. Bottles of medicine. Yeah. Well, there's nothing really here. Um. Yay. There we go. We got hint number four. Hint number four. I don't know why we couldn't get hint number five. That's actually really annoying me. I wanted to get all of the hints, or at least, you know, as many as I possibly could, but hey, it is what it is. For some reason, the game wouldn't let me have it. Right, so the scissors are gone, um, and now let's go. Let's go to the um, first floor, because we don't need anything else from here. There is a phone on Barton's desk, but it's dead. It doesn't do anything, which I kind of find interesting. He didn't cut the line to every phone in this game. This is why I always think, like, Scissorman is kind of playing with us a little bit, you know? But then it makes sense, as he's a child. So, I guess he likes to play with his victims before ultimately slicing them into many, many ribbons. Which is cool, you know, I can dig it. I can appreciate that sort of thing, you know? Um, okay, so we are now on the ground floor. Uh, now, what is it? We needed to do something on the ground floor. Uh, right, I think it's this door here. Yeah, because we've got a key now. Did that one. Because this is the security room, I believe. Yep. This is the security room. I think... I think there's a key or something that we... Ah. There's a key laying on the table. What's this? You now have the storage key. Uh, excellent. I, I guess. Okay. Alright, so we can push that again, but it just makes a noise. There's like literally no point whatsoever. Uh, right. What's under this coat? If there's anything under this coat. Maybe Scissorman's under the coat. So for the security guards, often used for naps. I wish I could go to sleep on my, you know, where I work. Is the game not going to let us do it? Why not? There we go. Let's see what's behind here. Something sounds like water dripping. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter who we play as. Um, the security guy sadly buys the farm. Uh, not much we can do about that, unfortunately. Okay. Right. Now, let's get out of here. Let's finally leave this hell hole, shall we? Now, we need to actually go into the storage room. I think is this one, if memory serves. Hopefully Scissorman's not in here again. It'd be pretty rude of him if he is. And there's nothing actually in here, I don't think. Hmm. Alright. So, let's go and have a look at this red door. This door should lead to the parking lot outside. Yes, this is our freedom door. Huh? The doorknob is wired shut. It won't open. Oh, that's right. This door isn't supposed to be used. But I wonder if I could do something to the wire. Well, Helen, my dear, that is why we found the pliers earlier. You know, that's what we call forward thinking. Ah, it worked. Yes, it did. Now, let's get the frick out of here, shall we? 
It's even locked too, but that's okay, Helen. We have the key. The storage key. We were prepared. It opened. You sound so amazed. So not only is it enough um, that they wire this door shut, they lock it too. It's kind of a dick move if you think about it, but hey. Anywho, let's get out of here. The sweet freedom. All right. I like that we just hear Helen speeding off into the distance. There we go. Scenario one cleared. We will save the data. Uh, let's put a hard safe down. We'll use... Yeah, we'll drop it there. That's fine. What the fuck is going on? We haven't solved the last case yet, and now another mass murder. Yeah, I think it's exactly the same. And you're saying the murderer is Scissorman? But it's true. I saw him clearly. Oh boy, oh boy. I sure hope you weren't daydreaming with Jen. What? Well, we're done questioning you for now. You can go on home now, Teach. Hmm. Oh, but don't go anywhere too far for a while, because I'll probably have to call you again. Soon. Yes, we're a suspect. I know, Gots. Alright, let's go. Helen. It's alright, Jennifer. Let's keep looking for more clo clues about Scissorman. If we don't do something ourselves, he'll probably kill us. Yeah, isn't that Gots job? No need for sarcasm, Teach. I really do want to believe your story, you know. It was the... Was it the real Scissorman? Yes, but I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. No, he kind of doesn't. He looks like a gremlin. Like Gollum gone wrong. Okay. Okay. Helen, somehow I must find a clue about Scissorman. Well, let's... Oh, we've already been to the police station. Let's go to the newspaper. No? No reason to go to the newspaper office? All right, then. What about the hotel? I wonder if Edward is there. Hey, Edward. You've been up all night uh, murdering people, have you? You sick little bastard, you. Helen, I heard you were attacked by Scissorman. Yes, I was. I don't know if he was the same one as the in the clock tower case, though. Maybe he will go after Edward, too. Yeah. Where is Edward? I think he's in the library. He seems to like it there. I'll go there and check on him, then. Would you? Please tell him to come back soon. Okay, so we can go to the library, but before we go to the library, let's have a look. The investigation of the scene seems to be over. Well, that was quick. Well, they mopped up the bodies already, too. Good stuff. That's efficient. I like, I can respect that, you know. That's some hustle. To be fair, you know. Looks like Beth's still breathing. Helen, are you all right? Yeah. But more importantly, can we use the room now? Oh, yeah, let's not care about Rose. Yeah, but we couldn't get in it all morning because of the investigation. Is nobody going to, like, mention that, oh, my God, Rose died and our friends died and other people we work with? Like, three, four, because the security guard died. Rose was dead. Um... Danny, was it? Died as well. All last night in this building. But hey, fuck those guys, am I right? By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? Yes, Beth. That very statue. Right, I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did, but I think he asked someone to take a look at it. It's not here? No, and Professor Barton isn't either. 
He's away on some police business. Darn! I wanted to look at the statue because I was hoping it would give me a clue. A clue? About Scissor Man. Did he tell you where he was taking it? I think he said he would either take it to the library or to a man named Rick. If he took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. But who's Rick? I don't know. Alright, I'll go over to the library. I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. Good enough for now. Um, right, so we can go to the staff housing. The staff house is surrounded by reporters. I shouldn't go anywhere near there now. Alright, well, let's check out the library. I wonder if Professor Sullivan is there. We're not going to check on Edward. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. So, that's a no-go area then. Library. So, where haven't we been? Um, no reason to go to the newspaper office. The house is surrounded by reporters. So, where do you want us to go then? I shouldn't go anywhere near there now. Maybe I should go back to the university. All right. Well, that's where we will go then. You're the boss, Helen. I just pull the strings. I hope you find the statue. Oh. Right. Is that it? Uh, I mean, I guess we could try the hotel. See if Edward's come back yet. Edward doesn't seem to be back yet. All right. Well, I mean, maybe he's not just in the foyer. Maybe, or the foyer. Maybe he's, you know, um, in his room or something. Eventually, Sullivan's got to come back. So we can't actually do anything. Excuse me. Is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. God damn it! Where are you, old man? Uh, no reason to go to the newspaper offices. Maybe we should tell... Oh, yes, I'll ask Gots about Rick. Aha! Bingo! Let's go ask the private investigator dude or the police constable about, you know, clues and things and people. He's the man that would know. Got any new info, Teach? This is your job, Gots. Do you know a man named Rick? Rick? That sounds familiar. Yeah, it's probably about 7 million Ricks. Oh, yeah. He's the old geezer that used to be butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family of the Clock Tower case. That would mean he... Well, he quit 10 years before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. The statue? What for? That statue might just be the key to the secret of Scissorman. Oh, how right you are. Helen, I think Professor Barton wanted, to talk, uh, wanted him to look at it. I see. And since you believe in Scissorman, you want to get your hands on it too well if you want to put it that way well we ain't got any other leads do we I can go and get it you will all I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue right nothing to it yes but right okay so this is important here we can actually get the E ending fairly easy uh, I'm going to be straight with you guys. I can't remember where we sent the statue. I think we sent it to... I did write this down, but I threw my notebook away because it got coffee all over it. So I bought myself a new notebook and 
<laughs> it's got nothing in it. <laughs> um, luckily, that notebook didn't have anything interesting in it, apart from the last fucking session of Clock Tower, which I didn't think about until this very second. Fuck. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop a save. I'm pretty sure we sent it to the library, to Mr. Sullivan, because we've seen Rick's house. We know that. Uh, but we haven't been to the library yet, so I wanted to do the library as Hel uh, Helen. So... Uh, if we drop a save state, uh, anywhere we'll do, go for save, uh, go to one, that's fine. Um, and yeah, you go see Rick. Would you? Sure, I'll go now. Excellent. Please be careful. Yeah, now we're not going to find the statue just so we can play, um, you know, ending E. Scenario two, stand guards. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Yeah. If you know something, Gramps, tell me. Right now, I'm looking for a clue. Any clue. Hmm. Mr. Gotts, do you know of a castle called Barrows Castle? Barrows Castle. Love the music. Look at the dog in the background. Yeah, it's a castle in England. Then, before the Barrows family moved, yeah, that's what I've heard over 80 years ago. Right, now, I'm going to actually save this here, guys. And when we continue, we're going to try and get the E ending, unless I've sent the statue here. But even if I have sent the statue here, which I'm 95% sure that I didn't, doesn't matter. We can just not pick the statue up and leave. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.